All right, hey guys, I'm back. I'm gonna just show you a little video on how I am mounting my carb to my manifold. Um, they do have these that come in the kit. I mentioned in one of my other videos they only sent me two of these I need four of them so I had to make shift something of course never easy so I just got some bolts and I'm gonna go for it but yeah let's see if we can get this show you what I do Got this, got this, I'm gonna need this, so I'll just go right here in between, but what I want to do first, go ahead and lay this on its side. I might as well get these, which is my way of mounting them together. No, it's not the proper way. I should probably be loctiting these, but I want to see how it runs first. Like I said, I may rejet these. I got the jets coming. But I may want to reject these and, uh, you know, so I don't want to lock tight them and not be able to get them off. I have to pull the whole manifold just to reject them. And I just want to pull the carb. Be a lot easier. So I'm just going to see how it does. If I end up liking it how it is, maybe I'll uh, lock tight them. Yeah, I'm just taking my grease and I'm going to. Grease up this gasket. Let me grab my rags and clean off my hands. <sighs> yeah, just a little bit of grease. Doesn't take much. I'm just gonna coat this whole thing. It probably isn't the best grease to be using, but it's what I got on hand. Um, it's high temp disc brake wheel bearing grease. Got a whole thing of this, so I was like, might as well use it up. I don't know what else I'll use it for. And what I like to do is slide this on my bolts. Just to make it a little easier. You know, I wouldn't have to worry about this if I had the proper studs that came with it. <clears throat> okay. Nice and cleaned up. This is the stuff I'm using. Not sure if you're getting a good view, but whatever works. It's lubed up and ready to rock. So then this thing will be sitting in the car kind of like this so I want my linkage towards the front something like that and I'll just get these things started I'll wrench them down and this thing will be ready to go on the bus. I'm almost there. This project hasn't really taken me all that long. It's just 
I've been doing a lot of other running around and you know stupid stuff that I gotta do today. Unfortunately, could have been done with this by now. One good thing is I'm not working in the heat anymore. Prob. This one kind of a prob. Always something. Once again, I blame Redline for this pain. These things you don't want to go too heavy on. You just want like, I think 10 pounds pressure. So, so I'll just judge it by hand. Give it what I think is good. But yeah, you don't want to strip out these threads because, well, frankly, at that point you're screwed. You're going to have to retap it or something. These are just 12 millimeters, or uh, 13, sorry. You know what, let me grab my little pivot. doing this in the dark so that sucks at least I have light in my garage and can do it okay for a fun time. I'll just hand job it. Ten pounds. Finish off 
this one. Well, about 10 pounds. All right, I like it. That thing's in there. She's good to go, ready to rock and roll. So yeah, um, probably take like five minutes to get it in there, but it's pretty dark, so you guys won't be able to see anything. And after that, hook up my linkage, finish my oil change, which I'm still waiting on daylight for that too. And I'll fire her up and see how she is. Yeah, that's it. Basically just get her on there. Two bolts. Later, guys.